Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Hello from Rome. This has been an incredible trip to Italy so far. My first time. It's just such an amazing country. Beautiful people, and of course, super, super delicious food. And uh, I actually just got into Rome um, no less than 20 minutes ago. I'm starving. All I had to eat this morning was a croissant, but I wanted my first meal here in Rome to be some Roman pizza. And coming to Italy, I knew that there were two locations where pizza reigns supreme, Rome and Napoli, and they are completely different from each other. So I'm gonna go and find out and taste the difference for myself. Let's go pizza in. I get off the bus to eat pizza, and. This is what I'm greeted with. This is the National Monument in dedication to Victor Emmanuel II, and it is majestic. This whole square is just so, so beautiful. Almost made me forget about the pizza for a second. Okay, back on track. Gotta go get some food. Then I'll be able to appreciate this much more. All right, my first pizza place across the street from an ancient square, and next to an all you can eat Chinese restaurant. I'm here at Pizza Florida. So a lot of the pizza places in Rome are very casual. You go in for lunch, you just grab these rectangular slices. They cut for you with scissors and they usually sell it to you by weight. And I could be in trouble because my, my, my pizza will probably weigh a lot. So here, all the pizza, different types of flavors. Now Roman pizza has way less rules than Neo Neapolitan pizza. So there could be all different types of flavors. So there could be all different types of toppings. Yeah, I'll take the margarita. Um, I'll take a slice of anchovies too. French fries and mushrooms, looks like potatoes and mushrooms. That looks great too. Tomatoes and spicy chili, yeah. All my pizzas going on a plate. It all adds up to like a whole pizza almost. The biggest distinction between this and Neapolitan is gonna be the crust. The dough is like medium to thin crust. In this pizza, they add the olive oil. That's where you get the crispy crust, and of course, Neapolitan pizza, that is not added. And this is definitely a huge variety of, of flavors. Just start with the basic margarita. I don't know if it's because I'm like super hungry. But this is so, this is really good. I don't know if you guys can hear the crunch. With a slight bit of char, and you can taste a little bit of the fragrance of the olive oil. I mean, the color of the bottom of this pizza, that's absolutely perfect. The margarita slice, cheese is fresh, tomatoes slightly sweet. It's not a fancy pizza by any means, but the dough is crunchy, it's robust, it's fairly light, and it's just a simple, no nonsense, but incredibly airy delicious slice of pizza. I mean, it doesn't look like much. We're cutting it and toasting it in the oven, so I figured that the dough might be a little hard, might be a little overcooked, not the case whatsoever. Oh, this should make everything better. This is the anchovy slice. Never had anchovy pizza before in my life. Actually, the first time I ever heard of anchovies on pizza was in the Ninja Turtles movie when Michelangelo threatened the pizza guy. I mean, I love anchovies, but probably just because I've seen that movie, I just never wanted anchovies on my pizza. That's Ninja Turtle influence. Mm. Same crunchy margarita slice. Little bits of saltiness sitting on a bit of cheese. Oh. I can't believe Michelangelo made me miss out on this thing for all those years. These are little cherry tomatoes with uh, chili. Then no cheese on this. Mm. Mm. Oh God, these explosive tomatoes. The pizza dough, without any cheese, it just highlights how crispy and chewy this pizza dough is. This is so interesting. Potato and mushroom pizza. 
That's probably not my favorite slice. The flavor is a bit um, one-dimensional. This is the pizza I'm most excited about, tuna pizza. This is my favorite one. And I'm sure this is probably a personal preference. This is so wonderful, I'm about to cry right now. There's like a tuna salad on top of the pizza. A little arugula, a little bit of tomatoes. And I don't know whether it's because I love tuna salad with a passion, but this is creamy. It's got tons of tuna. The dough is doing this beautiful thing. This is like a tuna melt pizza with fresh veggies. And this, this is my favorite slice today. I could eat a whole pie of this. Mm. Oh, the tomatoes. Those tomatoes are so fresh and sweet. This is so good. There's so many things I love about this pizza. Not just this tuna pizza, but the Roman style pizza in general. I love the crispiness of this crust. You know, although it's not like super thin crust, it's not thick, kind of medium thickness, but it's, you see those air pockets? It's so, so airy. And then I'm just falling head over heels with all the crazy toppings. I mean, margarita, simple, delicious. The tuna, that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Pizza round two. Um, had to sell some bacon, so I had to get some bacon. Porcini mushrooms, this is the most popular type of mushrooms in Italy. I love these mushrooms. And of course, another slice of tuna. This piece actually, they just made this. This is cream cheese on this slice of pizza. All right, I, I think I figured out the rule for a Roman style pizza. You get the crust right, you get it perfect, then with the toppings, just go crazy. Those are so creative. Mm. But heck yeah, does this ever work? And you guys can see right here the bounciness of the crust. You see that? Like a little pizza crust trampoline. And this is the end part of the pizza. Don't be afraid to get an edge slice. Got off the tree at Naples, the mecca of pizza. I can almost smell it in the air. Of course, Naples is really known for Neapolitan pizza, which is like completely different than the pizza I had back in Rome. So right now I'm going to a couple places that was recommended to me, and one of them opens at 9 a.m. Yeah, pizza for breakfast. It's pizza places. And my first stop is here. Di Matteo. Apparently this is one of Clinton's favorite pizza places. When you're eating Neapolitan pizza, you gotta go for the buffalo mozzarella. Nice Neapolitan buffalo. pizza is, is crazy because it's the only pizza in the world that is regulated by, by almost a police-like entity called the VPN. And it regulates the pizza size, it regulates the topping, it regulates the oven that is cooked in, the heat of the oven, how long the pizza is cooked. We're gonna time this. And it came out of the oven, exactly one minute. This is it. True Neapolitan pizza, right in the heart, right in Naples. This is like eating pizza at its home base. I got one margarita with buffalo mozzarella. This is, of course, you have to get this any place you go. And as you can see, it's kind of soupy and centered. And this is what you should expect with good Neapolitan pizza. And I got a second one because they asked me if I like meat, and of course I said yes and this appeared in front of me. As I mentioned in, in my New York pizza video, there are a lot of rules. If you wanna make a pizza that can be called a true Neapolitan pizza, it has to use specific ingredients. In this case, this cheese topping must be buffalo mozzarella. The olive oil used must be extra virgin. And all the ingredients must be from the Campania region of Italy. And like I mentioned, you need a customized oven. The oven must be wood fired. The air temperature needs to be around 800 degrees and it has to cook in under two minutes. And this one, as we saw, cooked in exactly one one minute. This is completely different than, than a typical New York pizza. Obviously, you can't cut this into slices and, and fold it and eat it. It's, it's not gonna fold right because the tip, as you can see here, it's just wet and full of sauce ingredients. So this is one of the pizzas in the world you gotta eat with a fork and knife. The dough, look at this. It's, it's just like a, a soft, airy bread. And it's kind of have almost like a, like a kind of like a leopard print on the bottom, slightly charred in certain areas, and the crust, airy, almost melting your mouth. You get that slight taste of bitterness, which goes perfect with the sweet tomatoes. Oh, I'm probably not even cutting this right. Neapolitan pizza in Naples. This is like a foodie's dream right here. This is like one of the ultimate bucket list if you're a pizza lover, and I'm about to check it off mine.
Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how good true Neapolitan pizza is. The dough, I can't believe that's pizza dough. It just tastes like a really, really tender piece of bread with a slight bitterness from the char, counterbalanced perfectly by the sweet, sweet tomatoes. The buffalo mozzarella, which I feel like they actually pour more on the pizza for you than in New York, is much milkier and creamier than any of the pizzas I've had before. Basil is so aromatic, the most delicious dough that I will happily wrap any food in. And see here, all the air bubbles. This is a sign that this pizza is cooked in an incredibly hot oven. And this helps produce a super airy crust. And the part where it's considered wet, I feel like this is the best part of the pizza. Here the dough is basically in a dance of love with the tomatoes and basil and cheese. And this to me, this is my favorite bite right here. Get a piece of the basil in there. Seriously, I'll tell you guys, I thought Neapolitan pizza was good when I had it in New York. I mean, I went to some of the best Neapolitan pizza places in New York. Saying it doesn't hold a candle to this would be too much of a compliment. It doesn't even come close to the flavor of this pizza. Mm. Also, this pizza, it's not even filling me up. This is the meat pie right here. This obviously is not a traditional pizza. Slices of tomatoes, bacon, it looks like ricotta cheese, and a ton of mozzarella. She did not guide me around here. Mm. The dough has the same wonderful chewy texture. I like the burst of sweetness from the tomatoes. I'll tell you what guys, I like this pizza, love the meat, but I still prefer the original. Come here, get the margarita with the buffalo cheese. It's gonna make your pizza loving heart explode a little bit. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, but there's a couple more pizzerias I'm dying to try on this street. That was a pizza meal for the ages. My, my pizza bar is officially way up here right now. Um, the next place I'm going to is, is, is an institution. Oh my God, I just had the scare of my lifetime. Um, came here at 12.30, this place opens at 12. And this is my like number one targeted place coming into Naples. And then they told me it was sold out. Like, I couldn't get in. And then <laughs> I think I just stood out there with the saddest puppy dog look in my eyes, like just staring at the pizza oven. And they, 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 and they let me in and they gave me the last table here. Oh, counting my lucky stars right now. Okay, I was just gonna get the margarita, but the waitress, um, who is so nice, she also recommended that I get the Esserina, which is smoked mozzarella, ricotta cheese, salami, black pepper, and basil. But I had it at the other place, but whatever. Hey, I'm not gonna turn down a recommendation. Ah, thank you so much. Got my two pizzas. I just ate a couple pizzas. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how excited I am still. Look at this, perfect buffalo mozzarella. Smell, you can smell how creamy this is. Crushed. It looks thicker and airier than the last place I was at. And one thing I love is the smell of the yeast from the pizza dough. I feel like after a bite, you gotta just soak all that deliciousness in. Like take a moment, let it wash all over you. The mozzarella, just as creamy, just as milky. I feel like taking this bite, just like seeing the Colosseum for the first time, walking by Duomo, you just know. You're in Italy, and this pie is very different from the last one I ate at. There's obviously less tomatoes on this pizza, so it's, it's less sweet, less soupy, but much more olive oil. The olive oil flavor is sort of pronounced, like I can really taste the olive oil. I feel like the crust is airier, it's softer, and it's got a more fragrant flavor. Personally, I really love all the tomatoes um, from the last pizza, and I almost wish there's more of it on this pizza, but this dough, is absolutely perfect. Even eating it on its own, and I think it just melts. My second pizza, Esterina. Again, beautiful crushed. There's some ricotta cheese on here, some salami. It looks like some zucchini uh, with a black pepper. Ooh, it's nice and crunchy as well. Oh man, you get a huge hit of pepper. That's a lot of pepper on here. Just look at that dough. You can see the extra virgin olive oil. See how thin it is. I almost 
like this more than the margarita pie. I'm ashamed to say, but this should be walking on a catwalk somewhere. It's so fabulous. The last place, I also had a pizza with ricotta cheese, but I feel like it was, the toppings were kind of heavy. Um, it was okay, it wasn't the greatest, but this, they did this pizza right. I mean, love the crunch from the little zucchinis. The black peppers give it that slight spice, slight little crunch from the salami as well, and that nice porky flavor. Oh, that ricotta cheese. Heck yeah. There should be a movie called It's a Wonderful Pizza starring this guy right here. I don't know how they did it. This might be the first time I'm eating like salami. And I'm not overwhelmed by the saltiness of it. And for some reason, it doesn't feel heavy at all in my stomach. I think also one reason um, for the pizza is not feeling heavy is the dough. Like, you see that? It's just so airy and chewy. Look at this. Don't you want to just like rinse out one of these crevices and just like live in there? This is really the pizza experience of pizza experiences. Let me give it some due attention. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And as I was leaving, the owner also told me, um, as far as I can understand, because he was trying to speak Italian, I'm speaking English. He tells me his dough takes 40 hours to prepare. And that's what makes it so special and so chewy. You can definitely tell that dough is something special. All right, I'm gonna walk around um, Pizza Alley over here. And then on this pizza tour, I still got one more place to try. And what's also really cool is that you can get a pizza to go if you don't want to sit down. And this is also a really popular pizzeria, Del Presidente. So I want to see what it's like to get a pizza to go because one, I want to experience it. And two, just one more pizza before I leave Naples. One more Neapolitan pizza before I probably will never be able to have this again for a long, long time. I kind of was expecting like a, like a quad fold where they fold the pizza four times and give it to you like kind of just wrapped and you just gnaw on it, but give it to me in the box. So good, let's go. Already I could smell the basil and tomatoes. That's a soupy pizza, but come on. This beautiful pie for 350, you can only find that deal here. Oh, also one thing, uh, I forgot to mention about the colors of the margarita pizza. Green, red, and white. The three colors on this pizza also symbolize uh, the three colors in the Italian flag. Making this probably the most delicious example of patriotism. Um, I kind of don't know what to do now. I told you I was expecting like a, like a folded pizza. So this is, man, you know what? Don't think less of me, please. Tell me that tomato sauce doesn't make you want to beg for mercy right now. Mm. Mm. I'm literally standing here in an alley in Naples, munching on my to-go pizza, feeling absolutely shameless. Am I supposed to apologize for how good this pizza is? These people know. Although I, I really should have thought this through. Can I, I'm gonna fold it and make it into like a calzone. Mm. Much more efficient. All right, like I said, one more pizza place, but we're gonna go back to Rome for that. My last uh, pizza restaurant in Italy, this one, La Protolina. It's a sit down pizza place, and like I said, I tried to get a reservation, and it took me like two days. So let's go get some pizza. Reserves, 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 reserves. Really looking forward to this now. First page of the menu. This is a very popular place. <laughs> a lot of attention is paid to the maturation of the dough. Good. Aged minimum of 48 hours. Wow. Olive oil, total calories, noticeably lower. Whoa, that's great. Emiliana, this yes. this you think is the best pizza? Emiliana. Oh, that wild boar mozzarella, oh sweet. Yes, and the pistachio. Pistachio? Pesto or pistachio? Yes. Yes, I will take this. Okay. 100%. Emiliana? Yes, and then one more. The second is you're recommending Geno Genovese. Yes. Pesto buffalo mozzarella. Oh. That looks great. So this is Roman style pizza freshly made. The only problem I had at Florida's was that it wasn't like a freshly made pizza. They reheated it. It's still great. But this, I'm getting it straight from the oven. Ah, I'm so excited. Guys, you gotta check out my pizza right now. So right here I got the Emiliana, which is wild boar mortadella. We got mozzarella, cavallo cheese, and pistachio pesto. So this is the wild boar. Let's lift this up. Oh, you see the mozzarella? Oh. Look at that, look at that gooey cheese. Can you lift this up a little bit? Oh, there it is, pistachio pesto. I never seen pistachio pesto before. What a treat. And then on this side, I got the Genovese pesto buffalo mozzarella, my favorite. Ch raw cherry tomatoes and ham. Thinly slices of ham, almost translucent. Oh, raw cherry tomatoes, so the cherry juice 
is just popping all over this pizza. So Roman pizza, the distinction is their crust is gonna be thin to medium thin. Let me just tuck the cheese and the pistachio pesto back in here. Time to dig in. I feel like I've been watching the previews for, for a much anticipated movie I've been wanting to see for like 10 times straight. Finally, main attraction, let's get to it. it smells incredible. I don't know if you just felt the love that was shooting through my eyes. This thing is making me borderline emotional right now. I have no idea where pistachio pesto has been all my life, but now that's in my life, I'm not letting it go. By the way, this is the most melt in my mouth, crunchy pizza crust I've been into here in Italy. Let's go through the front, right? That's magical. This thing should have its own Vegas magic show. The crust, I could write a whole album of love songs dedicated to this crust. When I put that in my mouth, I swear I hear angels singing. This is the most crunchy slash melty piece of crust I've had in Italy so far. Melting your mouth doesn't even begin to describe this. You did get that nice flavor of olive oil. It's the most amazing pizza. Yeah? Really? Amazing. I love one day with you. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta get into the other pizza. Hang on a second. I know it's not right to fall in love with two things at the same time that's like both sitting at your table in front of you, but it's happening. It's a love story that can endure the ages. Let me try this ham. Oh, that's a beautiful trifecta. You got the porky, salty, fragrant ham, hard crust, just a little bit of pesto, the creaminess of the buffalo mozzarella with the sweet juice of the cherry tomatoes. This pizza will haunt my dreams and my memories till the day I come back and eat it again. Mm. Pistachio pesto, seriously. If you never had it. Oh God, you need to have it. It's nutty, fragrant, a bit creamy. Oh. There's certain foods you'll meet in life and it's not, it doesn't happen a lot, okay? It happens every once in a while. When you take a bite and without just even realizing what it tastes like, the emotions hit you, you know what I'm saying? Like when you see someone you're destined to fall in love with, like you get the feels, you get the butterflies, everything, everything, you feel it before you taste it. I'll tell you guys this right now. If you are in Rome and you miss out on this pizza, that's one massive food regret, I promise you. I really wish like I somehow could have got into this restaurant first night I was here when I tried to get a reservation because I would have ate here every single day. My last bite. Excuse me one second, let me check something. I'm just checking whether it's legal to marry a pizza because I wanna be with it always. It is over way too soon. I feel like pizza, at least food-wise, has been one of the highlights of my trip in Italy. And I'm glad I, I tried different styles, from the Roman style with its crunchy, melty crust and array of toppings, to the seemingly simple yet gorgeously delicate Neapolitan pies. And to end my journey here tonight, man, I wish I could hit the repeat button and do all of it over again, but what a great way to end this trip. My favorite Neapolitan pizza. I have to break this one down because Rust, I love sorbillos, but I love all the sweet tomatoes and creamy buffalo mozzarella that DiMatteo put on their pizza. And again, it's far better, far better than any Neapolitan pizza I've had in New York or anywhere else outside of Italy. And finally, Roman style pizza, you gotta come here. I mean, hit up Florida pizza, grab a slice of tuna, that's my favorite thing there. It's cheap, it's convenient, it's tasty. Then come here and just have the Roman pizza of your dreams. Because guys, in the world of pizza, this is a gladiator. All right guys, I, I gotta take off, go to bed, I got an early flight tomorrow, but thank you all so much for watching this video. All the places I went to is of course listed for you in my description box below. And again, by the time you're watching this, I'm not in Italy anymore. If you wanna know where I am full time, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, it's listed right here and in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.